Hello and a welcome back my friends. I am Daily Fix and we are playing The Last Breath of the Calradian Empire. Uh, this is episode 2. Previously we did the quest for the Tavern Keeper. And I think it's about time that we start exploring the map. See if there are some brave men who would dare follow us. And hopefully... Do a few quests for the towns around the world. Building a name for ourselves. So I'm hoping... Uh, one thing though, uh, off camera, I, I, I did a few of these quests. To see how they went. And the cattle quest is actually not an option. Mainly because... Well... The cows don't follow you. <laughs> that's uh, uh, that's it. And uh, defend them. Okay, so we're going to teach you how to defend yourself from enemy raiders. Let's train you, and hopefully, you will do fine against all them bandits. Also, it's a great quest if you, well, how do you say it? If you want to get people to join you. Oh, okay, let me focus, let me focus. Okay, and swing, and swing. Uh, also, it's a great quest if you increase the relationship with a town. Others will be joining in more numbers. It's At the moment it's three. I'm sorry if I'm not making sense. I'm not even making a lot of sense to me. Self either. So, let's train them again. So... As always guys, if you want to be in the series, then let me know in episode 1 your preferred name. And you can give me the name or the type of items you want to be using once. So there's no changing afterwards. It's just you can have this one go. Oh man, you, you're strong buddy. Oh, you got a ponytail to prove it, don't you? Oh. Um, yeah. Okay, that ponytail didn't really work. Did it change anything? No, but we can keep on recruiting. And uh, we are definitely going to do so. So, what I was saying is, uh, you can leave your name and the suggested gear in episode 1. Don't forget to um, hit that like button if you're there and you haven't done so. Okay, now I think I could still do this. And of course we are playing at about 60% difficulty. Uh, with three, anybody ready to level up? No. But they look absolutely fantastic. Look at that two-handed axe there. It's amazing, I like it. So let's move all the younger trips down below. Well, maybe not all of them, just something like this. Because we know that always at the end of one of these quests, there is going to be a raid. And hopefully we are able to deal with whatever is coming our way. Yeah, there's no way, buddy. Okay, we can still do it. Let's train it. Let's train some more peasants. Oh, look, there's a band of ten. Now that's maybe that maybe is interesting. How many times do I have to do it? I'm hoping this is not too dark for you guys. Uh, other otherwise, I'll have to see. I I might have found an option in my um my software. To, uh, <laughs> well, increase somewhat of the lighting. Uh, I want to go dismounted, please. Everybody come here. Come here. Ooh. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of them, I tell you. Everybody charge. Come on. Don't, don't, sir, don't. I'm extremely 
unhappy about being hit by the lots of you. So don't do that. Be a good sport and roll over and die. You dirty, dirty bandits attacking an innocent, innocent settlement. It is the age of the night coming back. Oh yeah, we look like a boss now. A sword covered in blood. So yeah, we did that nicely. Uh, refuse. They need these items a lot more than we needed. And now we have a populace that is acceptive of us. And uh, we go one more. Meet the elder. Is there a another quest that you might need help with? No. That's a bit of a shame. I was hoping for some more though. And we are building up our forces quite nicely. Um, let's uh, do a few levels ups. Now there was this band of 10 somewhere around here. Oh, they could be in some of the villages down. Oh, that would be bad. Uh, we haven't met the village elder yet. So it's a good chance for us. To take a quick look around all the settlements and by all means look at that that is a shrine build up there um, we need to pay our respects a tiny tiny bit so let's not get on the horse on the shrine it, it's it's a sign of disrespect look at this all them vegetable all, all these trees are just growing inside that's a bit of a shame though so, is there a task? I am very sorry, I cannot do a cattle quest, it will just cost me a lot of money and there's no return. Is this a town? Akin? Let's go and take a look. Ah, we're losing some money, but we are doing quite nicely. Uh, this is a town, let's go to the tavern. Now, I have been told that I am allowed to get one one companion early on in the game and he is going to be you know my my squire my my helper the man who puts on my armor I don't know if he's good but um damn counts damn peasants damn humanity and the stinking empire oh come on why the long face my friend you call me a friend all right if you have the stomach for a tale of bitterness and hatred, sit down and grab a mark. My name is Leonard, and for the last few years nothing has gone my way. I was the only son of a village elder, and as much as I was raised to follow on my father's steps and take on his duties when he died. His status as a minor noble allowed my father to send me to Askol. When I was 16 years old to study engineering, I finished my studies and returned to the village. My father died shortly after, and for the first few years I was doing just fine. Managing those thick skulled peasants, I collected taxes, drew blueprints for a new windmill or river dam. But then a wanderer healer showed up in my village. I soon learned that he was on the run from an imperial from the imperial and authorities for some kind of treason. I was ready to kick him out, but just then the village was attacked by a band of brigands who took everything and left some of the villagers pretty badly beaten. This heal attended to their injuries and saved their lives. This gesture gained him the favor of the peasant, so I couldn't bring up the matter of kicking him, out, him out without being threaten, uh, threatened with a sackle up my arse. I had to give in to keep the peace, but then this rebe rebel bastard showed up to make everything worse. The healer insisted we give him shelter, even when we all knew that the tax collectors would be arriving shortly. Of course we were caught, when we, they were going to take the rebel away, 
when the stupid healer tried to stop them. They beat him viciously until he fell to the floor and when they knew I was in charge, they also went for me. They accused me of harboring both a fugitive healer and a rebel, but at least they were con uh, content with beating me soundly and didn't arrest me. The Count must have gotten word of this though, because the next month the village taxes were doubled. So many peasants fled and they were barely, there was barely any food or money left to survive. As expected, that fool of a healer was one of the first to leave, saying farewell with a fake smile. I sold my land and went into the world to find my fortune, without much of a success, as you can tell me by what, uh, by this watered down foul beer that fills my glass. Well, you could serve in my party as an engineer, but how expensive would you be? I'm not a pushover when it comes to battle either more than I manage to drive bandits out of my village with my spear. I'll be fine as long as you keep far away from hypocritical people of the kind that talks of saving the world and helping the help. Oh, okay. I don't think. I'm sorry, buddy. I I'm one of those. I'm I'm one of those fools. I I can't. I cannot take you on. You have to change your way. That's what I would yell if uh, to him if I could. Um, let's get the heck out of here. We can recruit some of the military band barracks, but uh, let's just go. I'm sorry for the, the long story there. Uh, he was really... There was nothing I could do for him. Let's go to the village center. Let's see if there's something else here. Um, this village actually has a wall build up. My god, you guys are amazing. Now, if only there were people around. That would stand still like that man over there. Who is probably the village elder. Hello, do you have a task? Uh, no, nothing. Okay, fine. Fine by me, fine by me. This, uh, everything's okay. We'll, uh, we'll look for something else somewhere else. Okay, village farmers. We we'll have to be a tiny bit careful. Of course, but, um, let's recruit as many as we can. I, I want to get up to my full expectations. Go to the village center. Also, a wall. And this one, they even have a moat and a boat. Okay, there is a light. Looks actually quite nice, this one. Do you have a task for me? Uh, could you could you please, please stop with the darn kettle? I can't do that. I'm sorry. I can't. There's just... The darn cows don't follow me. And I have a tendency to lose everything. Now, if we come across, like, a party of sea raiders, and, and not saying 30, because there's no way on earth I can beat them now. 12 is even a bit too much. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. No! <sighs> I am sorry, but in order for... Us to survive. We need to get the heck out of here. They're still following me, the bloody, bloody bastards. Okay, let's go to the tavern and see if we have more luck with companions. You're just a traveler. Nothing in there, huh? Okay, let's recruit these guys. And uh, we're going to wait here. Until they've cleared away. Okay, like that. So, I'm not going to be doing the quest for the lords at the moment. I don't think it's right. Until we get... Um, holy shit, man. It's... There's so many of them. We need to get the heck out of here. This is not a good place for us. To start... Oh my god. Um... We could bribe him, but I don't think it's going to be. I can pay for free passage. It's just a lot of money. It is. Could you just... Could you stop? Oh my god. 
This is definitely not the way to go. With the sad music at the background, we need to make sure we leave the land of the Sea Raiders. And hopefully find the land of Ludus. Well, let's get the heck out of here. There's a war party going on over here. The Empire is near. It's so funny to see that Sagrat has been changed into a small, small village. Okay, let's recruit him. Uh, let's see if he has a better quest for us to undertake. Because we did now lose a lot of money. Not something I'm proud of. But that's why we had some money. C oh, for crying out loud. Go away, dude. I can't. I, I wish I could, but I can't. Okay, these guys made peace. That's uh, good for them. I'm hoping for a... Um, we can join the tournament. Okay, first things first. Let's go to the tavern. We've got a ransom broker there. We don't have any prisoners. Let's uh, level up these guys. We got um, Evart. Let's see if someone is upstairs. Uh, I, I, there should be four rooms upstairs. So there is a chance. This the townsman drinking on his bed. So he knows he's going to be having a hangover in the morning. But at least he's prepared. Edward. Um, don't you, by any chance, have some unwanted slaves or prisoners you want to get rid of? Are you a ransom broker? Ransom broker? No, my lord! You misunderstood me. Let me explain. My name is Edward. I was born in Kura and spent my childhood about amongst outlaws, wars and thieves. One day, while, while I was searching for food, a princedom nobleman took took and oh my god miscrints I don't know how to say this guys uh, took me as his page and off we went to fight I was afraid and miscrint I showed my worth and I was and in the result I was that's it holy shit this is not the text for me um okay let, let's just um Let's not. So, let's do, maybe maybe this one's a better one for me. <laughs> because those are the ways of the old tundra region, now forgotten. I now worship the same god as the old man I killed. Defeated an enemy, def defeating an uh, ant enemy, defeating ant. Defeating an enemy in a fair fight, capturing the vanquished warriors and offering them as a sacrifice. I haven't found my suitable sacrifice lately, so my god, you're going to be killing them. I'm not going to be fueling your madness with corp. What's up with these dark, dark guys? Let's place a bet and um, fight in the next round. Oh wow, just that is a lot going on around me. Uh, we got a spear. Everybody's following me. Look, guys, I'm not your leader right now, so stop following the leader. This is not a good place for me. I did some damage now. And knocked one down. I should be trying to get myself something else as a weapon. Really... Not good. Go back, go back, swing around, swing around. Okay, wait. Um, he's mine. He's not. Wow, so many bloody trees. I can't find my way. Can we stay alive? That is the question. Okay, there is one. Yeah, this is not good. Don't don't go go don't go fighting against that like that. Ah, oh, boy. Yes, 
We have done it. I hope. Yes, place a bet upon ourselves. Go ahead and fight in the next round. Once again, they give me this bloody thing. Let's dismount. And, um... Let's see if we can get... Man, there's a lot of them. Bam, his horse is blocking my sight. No, sir, you won't. You won't either. Go away. Go away, sir. Sir, move along. Come on. Come on. I was a noble once. Do you know what that means? I am a skilled fighter. Uh, let's get myself a shield. Let's get him off his bloody horse first. Uh, we are done nicely so far. Uh, can we get the shield? Okay, come on. Equip shield. Does he have a practice sword? Yes, he has. Now, there is someone going around here. Come on, sir. You can do this. You are on my team. We're the dream team. We are the dream team, sir. Come on. Uh, we've, we have definitely have done the most damage this round. Without a shred of doubt. Place a bet upon ourselves. And go ahead. Fight in the next round. At least this time. Uh, and because this is just such an annoying map. I'm going to be dismounting. This is really an annoying map. No. No. Okay, come on, time me. Think. Come on. Okay, move back. Shield up. Hit. Come on, guys, help me. You bastard! Do you see that? He was just like, oh, I'm hoping they take you out. Okay, at least we won, I think. Wow. Place a bet upon ourselves. Fight in the next round. Two teams. This mount. Come on. Okay, red is on our side. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Don't don't be like this. Come on. Oh wow, dude. You had a shit ton of XP. Of HP, sorry for that. Yeah, don't th th that was not the smartest move of you, buddy. Even if you are female. But we won. Look at this guy. Look at that beard. Fantastic. Fight in the next round. Two teams of two. Uh, they are going to be attacking him. Okay. Come on. Nice. Nicely done, sir. Me and Beard are going along greatly. And let's fight. Now he will take me out. And I'm absolutely sore about that then. But we're definitely going to be dismounting. Okay, where are you? Okay, there you are. Come on. Just get into that wall over there, please. Come on, get in that wall. No, sir. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't let you beat me. I am far more experienced than you are. Even though, I will not show it often. Come on, get into that wall. Get into... Yes, thank you. Okay, get back. Block. Block, I told you. 
No, no, no. Yes, James Drew Steel has done it, and we've gained four thousand dinars. And uh, the relationship has improved with the stone. The tavern is where we'll have our next episode start, guys. As for now, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.